Extreme hit another form of death sentence in Texas jail. Huntsville, Texas. Prison cells so hot that inmates splash themselves with the toilet water. Jails described as ovens, ovens where convicts are baked to death. An advocacy organization is suing the U.S. state of Texas to mandate air conditioning for tens of thousands of inmates, arguing that temperatures are reaching 49 degrees Celsius. According to convicts that are cruel and unconstitutional, the suit that filed by Texas Prisons Community Advocates follows three inmate deaths in the state prison system in 2023 that officials admitted were partly due to extreme heat. 50-year-old <coughs> Patrick Womack died after being denied a cold water bath. John Castillo, 32, who suffered from epilepsy fetched water 23 times before he died with a body temperature above 41C. And days before death, Elizabeth, 37, warned the prison official that she was at a higher risk of a heat the stroke because of obesity and diabetes. In Texas, every summer, we get triple-digit weather. Every summer we have high humidity, and every summer we lose lives. The groups that the director, A, told agents France presses, because of the, we are baking people in that brick of the building. As temperatures rise in the southern United States, helped by global warming, inmates that the families are never sure if their loved ones will survive another summer. With only a third of the state's the prison population of 134,000 inmates having adequate air conditioning, Dominic said the group wants U.S. District Court Judge Robert to require Texas to maintain temperatures of between 18 uh, Celsius and 29 Celsius inside the cells. The heat and the humidity cause inmates to become more aggressive and fewer uh, suicide attempts and trauma, which then spread to their community, she warned. We do see both the assault numbers and aggressive behavior in general and the suicide rate increasing every summer. He said, it's really it's a matter of survival, surviving each summer. She added 95% of these individuals are coming home. The question is, what condition are they going to be coming back to our communities? Official attitudes toward the problem have been changing in Texas in recent years. In 2012, then Texas Senator John said that Texans are not motivated to pay for air conditioning for sex offenders, rapists, and murderers at the expense of regular citizens who may also need air conditioning.